Hi guys! Okay, today's gonna be a cage tour, obviously. I'm so excited to be doing one. It's been a while since I filmed one, and I'm excited because it's Christmas time, and that's one of my favorite cages to put together. Obviously, with all the colors and the lights, any excuse for lights, I am all for. So yeah, it's gonna be Little Miss Perry's, one of her Christmas cages. She actually has two this year. Um, the second one is gonna be in a different video, since they'll probably be pretty long with cute little footage of her running around. As you can see, the cute little munchkin. Oh, my cute little munchkin. Anyway, so I'm going to get started on the cage tour. She is in a 40-gallon breeder, and it's got red and green Carefresh, which is a mix they sell at PetSmart for Christmas. This is actually my bag left over from last year, but I saw that they were selling the same one this year. The background is this cute little Merry Christmas with Santa and reindeer and candy canes. I think I probably got it from Walmart or Target. Honestly, I don't know. It was just in our collection of wrapping paper and it was really cute and went perfect with the red and green bedding. Say hi! Say hi! She's actually been up the last hour running back and forth between each cage. I can't wait to show you guys the second one too. I know I said in the update video that I probably wasn't going to put two cages together for her, but I'm kind of glad I did because she seems to enjoy running back and forth between the two and just kind of enjoying exploring both of them. Anyways, I stuck a cute little set of LED lights along the back side. These are completely out of her reach and they are battery operated so they don't get hot and they don't plug in. And I mostly just leave this on here just for my own pleasure. I don't leave it on all the time. I also have a set that goes on top of her lid when I have her lid on that stays on at night so it kind of just gets the Christmas little feel and they don't bother her at all. I give a quick little pan of it just to so see you can get like the whole feel of it. And I do have the wrapping paper on the one side as well. And then here is a little pan of just the overview at the top of it. Alright, so starting, starting from the left side of her cage she just has her red and white water bottle set. Then there's the cute little reindeer hide, which I'm pretty sure has been in um, one of my cage tours for the last couple years. I think I got it at Publix or something with a little sponge holder. Then there's her green tubes that lead up to her other cage, which as I said will be a separate video. And there's her cute little North Pole sign in the back, which she just doesn't bother with at all. There's a couple little Christmas shoes and stuff spread out through the cage. Then her cute little sand dish, which is a little Santa ceramic from Michael's. I got this a couple years ago during Christmas. Pretty much every year I see them sell like pretty much the same ones. I have quite a collection, so I try not to look at them so I don't buy anymore. <laughs> then there's her red six and a half inch silent spinner, which she adores running on. She's actually really taken a liking to her saucer, which I... Her saucer is right here in the front, it's the green one. She's actually taken quite a liking to it, so for the most part she plays on her saucer, which is really funny because when I first got her for easy almost the first six months at least, she would have nothing to do with a saucer, so I think that's kind of cute that she's taken a liking to it. Then right in the middle is this adorable little gingerbread ceramic. Not exactly sure what its point was, it maybe was like I guess a candle holder, but I found it at Goodwill and it's the cutest little thing and it's got bedding in it and she loves actually jumping up inside of it and then standing up in it. I haven't seen her sleep in it yet, but that's bound to be the cutest thing. Then there's this little candy cane in the front, which I got at PetSmart a couple years ago during the holidays. Then there's her little Christmas tree food dish, which also was a ceramic for Michaels a couple years ago. And I just love it because it's like kind of shallow but big, so she loves digging around in it and sitting in it and eating. Hi cutie! Hi! You show them your little ceramic house? You show them your gingerbread house. <laughs> You're so cute. Um, da -da. And then there's one of the little ring of chews which I got a year or two ago at PetSmart. I don't know if they actually sell the little holiday stuff anymore, which is kind of sad because it's kind of cute to always have a little collection of them. Then here is her little Christmas tree, which is just a little cardboard tree I picked up at Michael's maybe two years ago because I remember having it in one of the old Hamsters Bell's cages. And just like Belle, Perry pays no attention to it. I mean, she's playing with it now, but she doesn't really chew on it. And it's cardboard, so I wouldn't worry about it anyways, but if she chewed on it, I would just take it out. But it was just so cute. I couldn't resist having a little tree in her cage. <laughs> And then here is her little, I call it a present hideout, just because it was a little box I got, I think, at Michael's last year. 
I say a tradition, I always get things at Michael's. But it's just a cute little hideout that I just made for them to hide in. And she enjoys kind of sleeping in there. And then her little mailbox, which is just a little mailbox hideout. Um, I think I got it maybe at Dollar Tree, I want to say, probably like last year or something like that. They normally have cute little choices for like houses and stuff that I think are perfect. And as you can see, she is in there right now. She actually has her little food stash in there, so she's always snacking in there. Alright, I think that is pretty much it for her Christmas cage. I'll give you a little last overview of it. I just love the little red and green festivity of it. I'm just I'm so happy for the holidays. I can't wait to show you guys her second cage. Hopefully that one will be up soon. And see, it's all cute little colorful wonder. So thank you guys so much for watching. I've missed you guys so much. I can't wait to see you guys in the next video. And I will put some cute footage of Perry exploring her cage in here. So yeah. Have a great day, guys. Bye.